okay hi guys uh, welcome back to new tutorial uh, well in this tutorial i'm going to explain uh, how to use a uh, navigation stack and i will explain step by step process of uh, how to do the navigation stack in a uh, turtle boat and what are the things we are going to see in this uh, tutorial uh, the same parameters and launch files can be used in uh, our customized robots and we, we will uh, see how what is an amcl algorithm and what is a move base in a hands on experience in a turtle boat and a same algorithm will be explained in the ross wiki also and you can take this algorithm and customize for yourself and change the parameters it will be easy to understand once we do the reverse engineering process in uh, any technology which is available on our uh, area and that is my learning process i will do reverse engineering of everything and i learn from that and once we learn this and after this video i will put on on how to customize our own navigation stack you know, using a ross wiki or a turtle board or tortoise board and in this video uh, i already launched and the gazebo house with an uh, turtle board 3 and and also i launched the uh, always also in my uh, environment and now i'm going to terminal and terminal we need to go into SRC cat king SRC folder that is my folder and in that I, I already cloned the turtle board github from uh, official website and and on that you need to go into the turtle board 3 underscore navigation in this navigation you have a uh, launch file cmake list file uh, launch file have an uh, uh, navigation stack launch files and amcl move base algorithms launch file will be available on our launch file and map will be have uh, already which is uh, did by the map in the environment using an uh, g mapping or extra mapping uh, using a tele operation and we'll save the map using a ross map server right and that will be saved in dot yaml dot pg right uh, that will be available on maps and the parameters have like we'll see the explanation of parameters go to parameters and you can see a lot of parameters available and that is uh, we need only two parameters will be enough for understanding one is a uh, global and one is a local like right uh, the in global parameters uh, we have information about the environment which is uh, recorded by the robot sensors will be available on a global planner and you can see the global planner map and the robot base frame is a robot foot frame and the update frequencies all available on uh, true that statics isn't true uh, in a uh, local it is in false and the all the static information uh, which is in, uh, recorded by the sensors will be available on global planner and robot can identify the static object using a global planner and local planner will be uh, find out the dynamic obstacles like an uh, which is represented in the sensors in the real world of uh, current situation will be recorded and uh, simulated by the local planner and we can see the local planner go to uh, local planner right local cost map planner. and here you can see the odom information needed right uh, once the odom information change in the environment uh, there will be uh, definitely some object is available right and the base frame right same thing they're, they're true and the static map is here false and uh, uh, rolling window is true and uh, in that uh, global planner you can see the map static map is true and here is an uh, false that's the thing we can uh, understand from this that a uh, global planner have information about the environment uh, in from the sensors information and this also uh, get the sensor information uh, in a local planner but it is a little different not different uh, a global planner have a static information and local planner have a dynamic information that's the thing of uh, uh, cost maps of uh, global and local and after explaining the parameters we'll go through into the uh, launch file or map now we are going to into the map and in map you can see map.pgm map.yaml map.pgm will be explanation from here go to catkin src turtle bot and turtle bot navigation map in this you can see the pgm the pgm map will be save in uh, sorry 
information so you see like about it. okay about mapped out yaml that will be have information about uh, what's going on now oh, you can see the map information resolution of the pixels and uh, occupation grid values and free uh, thresh values will be available on dot uh, yaml file and and this is a thing in a map folder and now we can go to launch file in launch file we have amcl mubase and this is a launch file which is created for launching this both algorithm in the single launch file and this is an amcl algorithm and this is an uh, mubase algorithm and we can see what is a amcl amcl is an adam adam to mount carlo localization is an amcl algorithm is an uh, probability statistical algorithm for an uh, localization purpose uh, will use an in robot and we can go into that and we can see what is an amcl adaptive Monte Carlo localization go into that and you can see the XML format things will be available on this and for amcl algorithm we need some information right uh, scan data from uh, LIDA sensors we need a scan topic data and this is an initial pose of the robot and this amcl algorithm will localize our robot uh, robot can find out the where I am right that's the localization and we can use this uh, AMCL algorithm we can localize and find out the exact location of the robot using an uh, AMCL algorithm and this algorithm needs some information from the robot a scan TF modem information will be needed for uh, doing the navigation stack and uh, AMCL algorithm also needed this information and this information is needed using a scan scan uh, scan is nothing but uh, lidar information that lidar information will give the odom information also and the tf information also will give and we need uh, some uh, algorithms to do that and th uh, this is about the amcl and uh, we can see the move base move base is the algorithm you use to control the base of the robot uh, we can go into the move base and we can see what is the move base and Mubes have a uh, CMDL topic, right? That CMDL topic will be published by the Teleop. But that uh, Teleop have a topic of CMDL. That CMDL command will be the controlling the robot base or robot footprint. Uh, so using that, we are going to control the base using a Mubes algorithm. And this is an ODM information is needed uh, for Mubes. ODM information will get from the VLAN encoders or an uh, uh, RP LiDAR sensors or now uh, which sensors is available on uh, LiDAR sensors is available on our robot we can get the ODM information there also uh, that two information is needed for move base and this is all of the navigation stack global path local path this thing will be needed for doing navigation stack and uh, all about this uh, these two algorithms needed for doing the navigation stack and the parameters needed and map needed first first thing we need uh, we need to know about what are the things to do the navigation stack what are the information needed right uh, first thing we need a sensor information uh, second is an odometry third tf fourth uh, scan information is uh, from a uh, sensor information okay and five is an uh, move base uh, this five information is needed for doing the navigation stack and uh, now we can go to our gazebo and always in always there is no nothing right only the turtle board and the sensor information is available now and uh, now we can add our map uh, the map is added uh, this is a uh, map of the robot surrounding now our environmental represent by the 2d grid map and now we can add our tf value to our robot the first location of a robot here and second and third exact location is here uh, but the TF is not give any velocity reading to the users it will be give only the location and coordination of the robot and after this uh, we can add a planner plan and uh, right I already explained what is the global right the global information have an uh, static information will be available on global right static, static information is available and uh, local map 
will be dynamic obstacles will be found by the local map and this is a polygon and now we need to add a cast map we add a right next is a an planner and third is an amcl there is no nothing right in near to the robot or uh, surrounding of the robot uh, nothing is there once i add a amcl particles you can see some arrow marks this uh, amcl algorithm have some array values uh, we can improve that our uh, readings you are using a uh, amcl algorithm and and this amcl algorithm will be do the localization of the robot you can see the particles something is near to our robot that green color that arrow once i disable that there is nothing i don't say enable that there will be some things is available and okay is an uh, about an uh, amcl and we can give now the goal pose uh, enable and go to pose estimation it will be estimate our robot in which pose is needed right it will be automatically pose our robot and this is a 2d navigation uh, this navigation will be wherever our robot need to uh, go to desire output will be uh, given by the uh, 2d navigation goal so using this uh, we can uh, move our robot wherever we need okay now we can give this speed to the now the robot is moving to that desired output which we gave previously and once the robot reach that designation area it will be localize that uh, correct position all uh, right now it's standard we can give that 2d estimation now the robot is localized and i am going to move here now go to 2d nav goal and click here now the one path is created right follow that path and the uh, turtle bot will be find out which is the shortest path it automatically navigate to the designation output and uh, and uh, the static and the global uh, information is available to do the navigation check and using a uh, lidar information you can see the path will be de defined and where are the static and dynamic obstacles available the path will be automatically changed uh which is short and which is safest uh, path will be find out by the robot okay there is some table so the robot is uh, moving difficultly we can change the location now now the path is created uh, robot is moving a uh, you know pathway and it it make its own shortest path right you can see in our screen okay whatever we see or uh, is an a uh, basic explanation of an uh, navigation stack using a turtle bot and uh, in upcoming video i will explain how to customize our own navigation stack using a turtle bot or tortoise bot or on ross wiki we can make our own uh, uh, navigation algorithm for our own customized robot and uh, thank you subscribe the channel